entire police force off the streets. But uh, I wanted to come over this afternoon because I've been trying to go around and thank everyone who was responsible for the incredibly historic and successful elections that were held here in Nigeria. Um, we have had, as all of you know, a peaceful transition. Uh, it's gone tremendously well. Um, and as I've said to many people, the elections here were a very important development, not only for Nigeria, but I firmly believe in the development of democracy across Africa. Um, I think in the next year and a half, uh, there's something like 12 or 15 elections in various places across Africa. And I think your example of a credible process uh, with a good transition between winner and loser and all of these things, I think it is a, a very strong model for democracy across Africa. But of course, but of course, what everyone was the most worried about was that there would be very high levels of violence related to the elections. And of course, there was some, and even one death, one incident is one too many. But I think one of the striking lessons from this election is that the level of violence was dramatically less than four years ago, and it was dramatically less than many people feared it would be this time. I believe there are a number of reasons for that. I think one of the reasons is good messaging by Nigerian civil society and others who introduced the idea that if you're a political leader and you send your people in the streets to commit violence, society will hold you responsible for their actions. I think that sense of introducing accountability made a big difference. I think media campaigns and so on. But the main reason and why I wanted to come over and commend you for this afternoon was the superb work of the Nigerian security forces led by the Nigerian police. You had a staggering task, um, as the IGP and I discussed many times before the election. You took the number of members of the police force and you took the number of polling units around the country and divided one into the other. It was clear that the police force was going to be stretched very, very thin. And that therefore the solution would be coordination and collaboration with other security agencies and so on to make sure that the, got, the job got done. And to my mind, by and large, the job got done very well across the country. So as the representative of the United States of America, a huge bilateral friend and partner of this country, I just wanted to come over and say thank you. And I, I've been telling Washington to focus on the performance of the police, and I've been making the point to them that this is why we want to work so closely with the police in training and equipment and all of these others, other areas. Because when the chips are down, when the most difficult tasks are on the table, as we've seen quite recently, the NPF uh, comes through. So thank you very much. Your Excellency, let me first of all thank you for this goodwill visit, which is not only meant to uh, recognize our performance in the elections, but perhaps advise and assist as you have been doing in making sure that the Nigeria police continue to grow and continue to perform uh, to the expectations of Nigerians and indeed to all the people living in the country. Your Excellency, let me say that what you are recognizing I must say is the efforts of all police officers, not only those that you are seeing before you this afternoon, but it is the result of the activities of officers that were in the field. I want to give credit to our performance, not only to the leadership, but also to the officers out there, particularly those that were at the polling units and those that were involved in the escort of 
I like officials and the materials which gave us the credible election that we had in Nigeria. The Excellency, what we did was a deliberate effort. As far back as 2013, we began planning on how best we can have a skewered and credible election in Nigeria. And as far back as August last year, when I became the Inspector General of Police, myself and the management team decided that we should begin the implementation of the strategies without any further delay. One of the most important aspects of the strategy was to make sure that the officers understand their responsibilities, their roles in the elections, but in particular, Your Excellency, what brought us to where we are now was the clear directive to all officers involved in the election to be civil in their performances, to be non-partisan, and to also be impartial. That was what we exhibited, and I'm glad to know that that's what added the greater value to the credibility of the elections. Your Excellency, I would like to assure you that we will continue to do our best to ensure that the mindset of police officers is changed for the better, so that we will continue to perform within the limits of the law, and we observe and also protect the rights of the citizens, and we ensure that the name of the Nigeria police is not only appreciated outside the country, but also our performances should lead into those appreciations within the country. And that is exactly what you have come to do today. I want to say that you have done a lot um, in this regard, but let me also mention the fact that we received the best of corporations from other security and law enforcement agencies. We also received cooperation from INEC. We have had a lot of cooperation from international donor agencies, including the UNDP, ECOWAS, and the Commonwealth. Uh, I want to particularly mention the United States Embassy, the UK, the Norway, and many others in Nigeria that have been supportive in our efforts to make sure that the mindset of our men in the discharge of our roles in the national elections that are being concluded now uh, meet up to the expectations of uh, all stakeholders. Your Excellency, I also want to uh, appreciate the activities of civil society organizations who supported the Nigeria police in efforts to train our personnel, uh, for them to appreciate their responsibilities, for them to uh, perform uh, effectively, including clean, uh, the National Peace Committee and uh, the Nigeria Bar Association and many others who uh, collaborated with us to make sure that we train the men uh, to live up to the expectations of all stakeholders. I want to thank you for coming and let me reassure you that we will remain focused in changing the mindset of our personnel so that um, they meet up uh, with international standards so that professionalism shall be our guide uh, in our daily activities. Thank you for coming once again.